What's going on, guys? This is not your ordinary guy. No, this is the guy who motivates you to be great, not only in this game, but also in life. If you feel like you have no support, I'm the one that supports you, man. This is your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. It is time to be great in this season. Are you ready? You better believe it. If you wanted to give up, man, I'm telling you, don't give up. Get back up and keep going. Let every loss be an opportunity to grow. It's season four, and today we're going to go over how you, yes, you can get used to and master all the new drop spots, man. I'm so excited for this. That's right, man. I'm going to be covering everything that you need to know about Doom's Domain, Sentinel's Graveyard, the Quinjet Spawns, and a secret low-key drop spot that's perfect for anybody looking for easy placements. All right, make sure to watch this until the end, my friends, because we're going to be showing you some really, really special stuff, I promise. And make sure you like the video and subscribe before we start when we reach 1 million we're releasing my story of how i made it to be your motivation guy and for your question of the day which of the new locations is your favorite all right for me it's got to be doom's domain i really like what they did but let me know your answer in the comments below and with the new season also comes an arena point reset so if you want to get champs as quickly as possible okay check out proguys.com for live classes daily pro coaching and hundreds of lessons that's really gonna help you improve now bunch of crunch charm me. It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. It's that bunch of crunch, and let's get this going. Pleasance went and got itself a makeover, or should I say takeover, because it's now Doom's Domain, home to Fortnite's newest boss, Dr. Doom. So, there's been quite a bit of change here. Henchmen are back, the soccer field has opened up again, and a couple of buildings have been either refurnished or entirely replaced. And from what we've seen so far, you can find Dr. Doom in one of two places, either at his gothic-looking mansion or just roaming inside the underground bunker. While fighting him, he's gonna hurl either small damage projectiles at you or a giant green ball that ignites everything it hits which can be a huge problem especially if he's inside his mansion but if you can sneak up and just eliminate him before he sees you you should have no problem obtaining his loot speaking of which dr doom drops two mythic weapons his arcane gauntlets and his mystical bomb you can equip the arcane gauntlets to lob a projectile that deals 35 damage to players and 105 to structures that might not seem like much and it really is isn't but this weapon's good for a couple of more reasons all right one being that you can just arcane jump like every 10 seconds which can be used for mobility avoiding fall damage and getting around obviously another reason is that you can deal damage without exposing yourself by shooting it around corners and objects which i can see <laughs> will be very useful for competitive in games and uh oh yeah you can use it to gather fish as well pretty op if you ask me but this other mythic is dr doom's mythical bomb with that equipped, you hold to fire a massive projectile, which deals 60 damage to players and 300 to structures. Oh, and uh, yeah, I almost forgot. It lights everything on fire. <laughs> this one's not bad, but other than its ability to burn stuff, it could be clunky to use in fights. And unlike Doom's gauntlets, you can't boost yourself in the air with them. So if you have to pick one, I'll say the gauntlets provide more overall usefulness. Okay, so what are some top landings for Doom's domain? Of course, just like with other mythics, you can always just land on one of the two spawn spots. For Dr. Doom's house, try the northwest corner of the building. There, you should see a vent behind some air conditioners. Destroy the wall next to it. And if you're lucky, you should have the basement all to yourself, which has slurp kegs, my favorite, <laughs> fruit boxes, up to two chests, and a toilet that connects to the bunker, which, by the way, is where you're going to find the vault. But in all reality, Doom's house is going to be super contested probably all season long. So landing there off the bat is perhaps not the most optimal play you can do. What's always safer is landing at any house that you can just get solo, you know, looting to it, then proceeding from there. Or for a drop that won't spill death as often, you could always try landing outside of Doom's domain altogether. The hill with those cars north of Frenzy Farm is perfect for this one. Land there, get the chest, go toward the blue bridge, gather all the loot and mats in your way, then take a vehicle to flank Doom's Domain. By the time that you get there, it should be easy enough to clean up the leftover stragglers. And that's it for New Pleasant. Really, man, like, I have a feeling this spot's the new authority for this season. Action-packed and filled to the brim with players. Definitely a 10 out of 10 on this sweat meter. So expect to die off spawn. 
However, if dying out spawn is something that you want to avoid, you should look at getting a professional vibe review from our coaches. They can help you find and improve on your mistakes. Handcrafted and delivered in up to 24 hours any day of the week. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Check it out in the description, all right? So, if you're not a fan of crazy drop spots, don't worry, Sentinel Graveyard is a lot more manageable. At this point, you can find chests inside each fallen robot's head. There's also the house that was there before, just a bit more crumbly this time around. But other than that, there really isn't a whole lot of loot here. If you're going to choose a spot to land, your best bet is securing the house. In there, you could find some chests, some floor loot, and most importantly, materials. <laughs> then afterward, you can head out and either loot or just try to spot any opponents desperately climbing those robots. One major upside is that you're in the center of the map for effortless rotations, and those robot hands can be used to bounce around and speed up your looting. This spot was pretty underwhelming, considering it's one of the most significant map changes, but it's not entirely bad either way. Like, I have a feeling that in a week or so, this should make for a pretty chill solo location. All right, guys, so the next new spot this season is any of the Quinjets. Okay, so at the start of the match, these planes fly to semi-random spots. Okay, so at them, you can find Robot Henchmen, a new weapon called Stark's Energy Rifle, and those loot crates from Chapter 1 this time potentially carrying mythic items. Which mythic items? Good question. Well, Silver Surfer's Board, which is pretty much a mini launch pad on cooldown, pretty awesome, and uh, Groot's Bramble Shield, a mythic that turns you into a ball, <laughs> absorbs damage, and heals you. Also really, really dope. Inside the jet is a henchman chest that you can just open, but the problem with, you know, landing here is that you really only get one weapon to fight off the robots, which can end up being quite tricky. So it's certainly doable, but still risky. If you have trouble defeating the robots, you're better off landing somewhere nearby, securing a weapon, than just working your way to the Quinjet. Okay, so one thing to note with the robots is that you could just walk up and interact to just hack up to three of them while they're not. After hacking, they're going to follow you around and act as teammates. Uh, may I say very lousy teammates, but whatever. <laughs> In fact, I say that you're just better off just finishing them off so that you could just get their weapons and their utility items they drop. But pretty much, that's it for Quinjet spawns. A risky drop at times, but who knows, man? You might get a mythic out of it. Just remember to harvest the jet before you leave since it gives a ton of metal. Lastly, there's one new spot I think is worth mentioning, all right? The Red Barn East of Authority. There used to be a house here in previous seasons, but now there's a small barn that contains chests, some slurp kegs, and fruit boxes. And for such a little spot, this one's not too shabby. It's near the center of the map, and you can just quickly get full wood and metal. As a plus, there's a Quinjet that you can just hit up for more loot that sometimes spawns just southwest of the barn. And that's really the only downside of this spot, loot. You won't have the best loadout right away, especially if the Quinjet didn't spawn, but the beauty is that there are enough nearby spots to continue your loot path. You could just go southeast to the gas station, east across the bridge and to Frenzy, or west and into the Authority. Any direction should provide you enough loot for the rest of the game, you're good. As for where to land at the Red Barn, it doesn't really matter too much to be honest, since you'll likely be uncontested anyway. Inside is best, but since for some reason chests don't have 100% spawn rate, try to land on an open weapon if you see your contestant. That'll help you secure the area before you proceed, all right? All right guys, so let's recap the four new drop spots real quick. For Doom's domain, Dr. Doom can spawn in either his mansion or the underground bunker, but it's generally better to just land safe, loot, then just look for him or whoever has the mythics. While Sentinel Graveyard is somewhat underwhelming for its lack of loot, it still makes for a decent solo spot. Try to secure the house, get mats, and use the robot hands to get around quicker. Now, Quinjets can spawn around the map, and this is where you can find the other two mythics, Groot's Bramble Shield and Silver Surfer's Board. Spot where they're landing from the battle bus, all right? Try to get the chest inside the jet and just be prepared to fight. Lastly, my friends, there's a Red Barn East of Authority that's super low key. It has a few chests, tons of mats, and a few slurp kegs. Not bad for any solo players looking for easy placement points. All right, guys, once again, this is not your ordinary guy. No, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me on my Insta at your motivation guy. That's going to be it for the drop spots. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and tap the bell notification to join our Bunch of Crunch army. 
we're going all out in season four, man. It is going down, especially with our daily live classes at Pro Guys, which I highly recommend checking out. All right, guys, keep eating that bunch of crunch and let's get this going.